TikTok's algorithm has recently updated. If you don't change how many times you're posting a day, what you're actually posting about, and one other secret trick that I'm gonna share with you at the end of this video, you're gonna see a massive decrease in both the amount of views and the amount of followers that you're getting from your videos. That being said, all you have to do is implement the three things that I'm gonna share with you in this video, and you're gonna see both your views and your followers skyrocket on TikTok right now, because honestly, it's the easiest time ever to grow on TikTok. Healthy Emmys in my mentorship program and gained over 480,000 followers simply by implementing the things that I'm about to share with you and she's in the health and fitness niche. Baseball Lifestyle 101 is another brand that I helped gain over 180,000 followers and they've made tens of thousands of dollars a month simply by posting on TikTok. And then last but not least, this creator right here has gained over 70,000 followers in the anime niche again by implementing the things that I'm about to share with you. For starters, you guys need to make sure that you're posting stuff that TikTok actually has an audience for. The people on TikTok are actually interested in this. This is the number one mistake that I see creators make with this new TikTok algorithm update is they're not paying attention to the fact that TikTok is an audience and interest-based platform. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. That's why you see creators with a million followers to get 2,000 views on a video or why you see a creator with 100 followers get a million views on a video because it doesn't matter how many followers you have on TikTok. I mean, it does if you wanna get brand deals, if you wanna make money. So for starters, the topic of your content actually means more than anything else on TikTok right now. Again, that's why you see big creators get little views on their video or why you see little creators get a large amount of views on their videos and go viral on TikTok and simply because they're uploading content about the right topic. Let me give you a perfect example. Healthy Emmy has been testing this in her content. Whenever she says flat tummy, guess what? 250,000 views, over 300,000 views. If she says flat stomach, 15,000 views, 50,000 views. You wanna know why there's a huge discrepancy in the views here? Simply because of that one word. You heard that right. It can simply be one word that changes whether or not you almost go viral on TikTok or you don't go viral at all and your video flops. Nothing to do with the followers. Didn't change the sound of the videos. Didn't change the length of the videos. The topic of the videos you would have thought was the same, but a one word difference is the difference that caused TikTok to say, hey, we have a huge audience that's actually interested in this content. So if you're making content on TikTok right now that nobody's interested in, that TikTok doesn't have a clear audience for, and maybe you are, but you're not adding in the right things, you're not adding in the right keywords, either in your description, in your hashtag, in your hook, it's going to be the difference between your video flopping and your video going viral right now. I cannot emphasize this enough. You guys need to make sure that you're choosing the right topic of your video. Now you're probably wondering, Rob, what on earth do I have to do to make sure that I go viral, to make sure that I'm actually choosing the right topic? And I'm glad you asked that because I'm about to share it with you. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I need you to shoot me a text message right here. I'm putting my number up on the screen. Take advantage of me. I want to help you grow on TikTok. And I created a free TikTok growth course. You can get it at the link in the pinned comment below. It's going to teach you things like how to turn your views into followers on TikTok and so many other things like the best time to post or the best hashtags used, which you guessed it, have recently changed. The easiest way for you to basically ensure and guarantee that the topic that you're about to choose is something that TikTok has an audience for, you need to look that topic up and you need to make sure that in the last week or at most in the last month, people were creating content about that topic and they got over 100,000 likes. If they weren't getting that many likes, it means the videos weren't going viral. So please do not expect your video to go viral. If you're creating a video on a topic that hasn't gone viral before on TikTok, it doesn't mean you're early. For 99.99% of the time, it means that nobody's interested in that topic or they're using a different keyword word or they're talking about a different subject in order to talk about the thing and it means that your video is not going to go viral. I know a lot of you guys want to just put out the content that you want to put out but that's why you're a failing creator or that's why you've grown a little bit and then failed to recapture that growth. The number one mistake that I see small creators make that never grow up to be big creators or big creators that became big creators and then fall off and flop is that they're only focused on putting out content that they want an audience to be interested in and for the creators that got big doing that well guess what it was complete luck. They happen to be creating something that there was an audience for on TikTok. But those audiences change all the time, which is why you need to make sure that you're paying attention to what is actually trending within your niche, which you're gonna easily be able to do, again, by searching on TikTok, determining whether or not there's actually an audience for that piece of content, making sure that you're using the right keywords, hashtags, and hooks in your videos to ensure that TikTok actually knows that that is the audience that you're trying to reach. And please, I beg you, get rid of the limiting belief that your content needs to be super original. You just need to make it better. Stop trying to recreate the wheel. Instead, make a better wheel, add on to it instead of starting from scratch. Think about it. Let me give you some real world examples. Facebook was not the first social media platform. The iPhone was not the first smartphone. And Tesla wasn't the first electric car. They were just the ones to get it right. They were the ones to add on to something. Do that same thing within your niche. The topics that already exist, the topics that already do well, insert your personality. Insert 
insert your perspective into that topic and that is how you're gonna grow on social media. But you could be posting the right thing right now, but if you're not posting enough content, you're just not gonna see the success that you wanna see. In fact, if you're under 100,000 followers right now on TikTok, you need to be posting three to four times a day. And if you're thinking to yourself, Rob, you're out of your mind. I don't have time to post three to four times a day. I'm gonna share with you in just a little bit how you can get at that many posts in 15 to 20 minutes. And if you don't have 15 to 20 minutes to post on TikTok and take advantage of the biggest opportunity that's ever existed in social media, then you need to reprioritize your life because literally one post on TikTok can completely change your life, can lead to you becoming famous, can lead to you getting the thing that you want, can lead to your business blowing up. You're literally one post away. And if you don't have 15 to 20 minutes a day to be putting out content, three to four pieces of high quality content, and I don't mean high quality, that you spent hours actually taking the time out to then make that piece of content. Quality simply comes down to the quality of the idea and the quality of the execution, and that has zero correlation to how much time you actually spent doing it. That being said, if you are over 100,000 followers, you can do one of two things at that point. Either first, you can continue to put out three to four pieces of content every day, or you could start to post less, but you need to make sure that you're very focused on the intent of the actual post. It needs to be something that you know is going to do well. By the time you reach 100,000 followers, you should have a good feel for what actually works on TikTok, what works within your niche, and maybe you don't. Maybe you got lucky. Maybe you gained those 100,000 followers overnight, which I've seen happen to so many other creators, but you need to make sure that you're actually staying on top of what is trending, and you need to have a really high conviction. If you're you're gonna post less on TikTok, that those posts are gonna do amazing and they're gonna be bangers. For example, this creator right here gets over 50,000 views almost every single time that they post and they've gained over a million followers on TikTok. Again, in my mentorship program, this creator gained over 700,000 followers in the fashion niche, again, by taking advantage of posts that have already worked on her account. Once something works, you need to recreate it, you need to redo it over and over and over again. It might be a topic, it might be a sound, it might be a post length, it might be a hashtag style. Once something works, keep doing that thing over and over and over again. It's gonna make it way easier for you to be able to create content, you're not gonna to struggle to come up with ideas and you're gonna get the most out of every topic that trends on TikTok because once something trends and you are able to actually do something good for that trend, you need to take advantage of it. The only reason that Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Rae blew up is because of the renegade. If that would have never happened, that dance trend would have never happened, there'd be no D'Amelio family, there would be no Addison Rae. So please do not pass up on your opportunity which is going to make you grow on TikTok. But it doesn't end there. You can post the right amount of times on TikTok. You could be posting the right content. But if you're not doing the one secret thing I'm about to share with you, you're not gonna be turning your viewers into followers because you need to understand something. TikTok is an audience and interest-based app. What does that mean? That means that your followers really don't matter. So what does that mean? People are not used to following somebody on TikTok because you don't have to follow them to continue to see their content, which is why you need to add a call to action into every single video that you create on TikTok. In fact, if your like to follower ratio isn't at least 15%, you're making a huge mistake on TikTok right now and you need to be fixing that because at the end of the day, if you're not turning your viewers into followers on TikTok, guess what's happening? You're losing brand deals. You're losing money from the creator fund. You're losing money in general. You're losing more views on TikTok that you could easily be getting just by adding a call to action into your videos. Because at the end of the day, creators that add a call to action into their videos, make more money from sponsors, get more views on their videos, get viral videos more often, and get suggested out by TikTok. Why? Because all the TikTok algorithm cares about is keeping people on the app and keeping people coming back to the app. And if you are able to prove that somebody watched your video all the way through to the end, and then they wanted to follow you, that is the number one metric that you can show the TikTok algorithm. It's gonna result in you getting more views, your account getting suggested, and your account getting found by so many more people because you're helping TikTok reach your goal. And if you can help TikTok reach their goal, they're then gonna reciprocate that and help you reach your goal by prioritizing your content in the algorithm. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach is not going to last forever. And the only thing separating you from the creators that I mentioned in this video is one, that you haven't implemented the steps from this video yet, and two, you haven't gotten into my mentorship program where I literally guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you register for this program, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and I'm gonna critique your content for 30 days in order to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. If you don't grow on TikTok in this program, you get your money back, zero questions asked. The average person that has joined the program in the last 30 days gained over 50,000 followers and the lowest amount of followers anybody has ever gained in the program is 6,500 followers. If you want results like that, and I'm guessing that since you're still watching this video, you're probably above average, so you'll probably see more than 50,000 followers in just 30 days, no matter what niche you're in, no matter what background you're from, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is you need a social media coach. You need somebody telling you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use so that you get results faster and you get results a lot easier. If that 
that sounds interesting, go to the link in the description below. There are limited spots available and the price is gonna be going up in 2022, so please make sure you check this out. This is the same exact program Joel Magician used to gain over 16 million followers, that Moves used to gain over 14 million followers, that Tuvok used to gain over 10 million followers, and thousands of other creators. I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you wanna take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in, I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you wanna take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in this before the price goes up, before there are no spots available, so that you can guarantee that you grow on TikTok. At the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You're either going to grow on TikTok or you are gonna get your money back, zero questions asked. Go to the link in the description and sign up right now before spots run out. And by the way, if you're not interested in that, just check out the two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.